Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys some of the best dynamic island apps that you can get for your iPhone on your iOS 18 device. Now the dynamic island, it's actually quite a useful feature if you have the right apps and of course you know what you can do with those apps. And we're starting things off with Stick It Timers. Now this is an example of a simple app yet it does a lot of work. Now how many times you want to set a timer but you don't want to have to go back to the app to the clock app or whatever app you're using to actually take a look at that timer with this app you can quickly create a timer here and what it does is that it sends it right to the dynamic island and as you can see right there you can see on real time the timer working right there which is really awesome now of course you can tap and hold there to expand and you will have here the timer and of course you can have this with the clock app on ios but with this app you can actually have multiple timers so if i start all of these all of them will be right here on the dynamic island i can go to each of them or if i want to stop them i can do that directly from there Island Widgets is the next app for the video. Now this is pretty awesome and it offers a ton of different widgets which you can place directly on the dynamic island. So here we'll have the recommended ones. You will have a long list of things here. You can see some of them are actually paid, some are free. And then you will have different categories right here which you can choose from. So you will have a life of course, you will have health there and tools as well. Like you can have different things like the apps for example. I can have a bunch of apps directly on the dynamic island and of course even open these apps directly from there which is really awesome so going here can of course expand and close it it's pretty awesome and you can, then you can customize the text right there by going into the app which is pretty cool so you can see right here you can choose what you want to see there maybe a countdown or maybe you want to see something else here like the clock or something like that and when it stays like this you will have there whatever you have chosen when you 3d touch there it will show you the apps which you can launch from here the next app for the video is called dynamic notes this app will allow you to have your notes right on your dynamic island so here we have a note we can go here to the arrow and go to the second note. So anytime you need to have something right there on your screen, whether you're using another app or you're just on the home screen, you can actually take a look at the notes here. Now you will have here a few different options. You can copy a note directly from there. It will copy the note or if you want to delete it, you can do that from here. Going into the app, you can see we'll have three different fields here. We can add three different items. So basically three different notes. Now, once you have added all that, you can rearrange them if you want to and then tap on enable live activity and then you will have the notes on your dynamic island. Next up is Lock Launcher. Now with Lock Launcher, you can have a ton of different things on the dynamic island. Like you can have any of your apps, so you can go ahead and pick any apps you want, add them here. You can have music or a website, maybe one of your shortcuts, or you can choose a custom action right there. So if we go here to choose an action, we can go ahead and add an app if we want to and then save it right here. Now, once you're done with this, you get out of the app and there you go to the dynamic island. There we have the apps. It also shows you, shows you the date right there. And even when you're out of that, you can see right here, the current date and the little logo right there, which is pretty awesome. Now you can also go to the settings of the app right here and just find live activities dynamic island you can then go ahead and customize the dynamic island so you will have the, the style right there the group which group of apps you want to see there and of course you will have the rows here how many icons you want to see per line how many rows you want to have and you can even round the icons right here which is pretty cool the next app for the video is Dynamic X. Now with Dynamic X, you will have a ton of different like information on the live activity and the dynamic island of your device. So you can see in this case, we have this one which will monitor the usage of the internet on our device. And we can tap the plus button right here and add different things. So you can see right here, 
when it's expanded so basically we'll have how it looks when it's expanded how it looks when it's only showing there and the small one as well so you can go ahead and pick any of these of course you will have a few free if you will be actually paid and once you have set up here you can just go ahead and tap on start activity it will take you right to your home screen and as you can see it does show on real time there the usage of the internet on your device and once you expand it of course you will see way more details regarding these information the next app for the video is called shelves now with shelves you will be able to create different things that you can now place on the dynamic island of your device like you can even place a photo there so you tap right there and then we have an image which we can go ahead and expand anytime we want but even if we don't expand it we will still still see it right there on the dynamic island which is pretty cool going back into the app you will have other things here like we can have like different apps that we can open as you can see we have a bunch of apps there that we can launch from here and then you can go ahead and create other shelves so you will have different things here like friends and family productivity social apps and daily affirmation if we go to productivity right here we can just go ahead and have the ability to listen to music or turn on any of our focus modes we can add an action here like open a link open an app or even run a shortcut directly from here now once you're done with all your customization you save it right there and then of course you will be able to simply launch it from here and have access to those things directly from your dynamic island Meyer list is up next this is also a pretty useful app that will allow you to have a bunch of different things on the dynamic island of your device so you can add a reminder here and you can add different things like things like maybe a link right here a note to do something or maybe even track a flight directly from here so if we tap there we can tap on save and also enable start live activity we do that and then we will have that on the dynamic island you will see a preview right there so in this case we have gate 10 right there and basically an icon letting us know that we are going to the airport so it's pretty awesome here what you can do we can have also things like this when we can open a url so as you can see tap right there open the url that we have saved and it's pretty cool because it will show you these icons right there in real time it makes even the dynamic island look much much better next up is live to do now this is also another app that will allow you to have a to-do list on the dynamic island of your device so you go into the app and right here of course you can add anything you want to your list and once you have done that you basically have it on the dynamic island of your device so let's just go ahead and tap on start live activity there and there we have it our to-do list it says right here to do it will show you the number of items that you have currently on your list your three details there and they will have a full list of things that you have to do but now of course you will see them on the dynamic island without having to go into the app to see them next up is flighty now flighty is a very well known app that allows to track different flights so you basically search for a flight here or enter a flight number then you will be able to track the route of that airplane now once you're tracking a flight here on this app you will see something like this now what you can do here is tap on that button and then swipe here where it says live activity and make sure you have selected show right there once you have done that and you get out of the app you will see right here the tracking of the flight in real time of course you will have the details here the hour and when you expand it you will see here everything that you need to know so of course everything here some pretty cool like designs here as well or colors as well well basically giving you all the details if it's on time when it will departure and of course how much late that flight is so pretty awesome on this just like small dynamic island you will have basically all the information you need about a flight and last but not least we have a dynamic island game now this is pretty cool as well so you will have like different levels here the classic game and some mini games as well and then you will have here a play button where you can just tap and play so the goal here is basically to hit 
the dynamic island right there at the top and see what score you can get so it's pretty awesome now what you can do here is also add like some extra features that you will have here like you can go ahead and tap here to make it slower or make the dynamic like the line here bigger or make the ball slower if you want to so it's actually pretty cool and quite fun to play so that's basically it for this video guys these are the top 10 apps that you can get on your ios 18 device for the dynamic island of your iphone now again dynamic island it's actually pretty underrated and you can do quite a lot of things when you have the right apps and the right tools for the dynamic island so i hope you guys enjoyed the apps if you did make sure you leave a like on the video if you want to download any of these apps check out the pinned comment you will find all the links there so again thank you guys for watching subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one